you ever thought that this feast of the holy innocents is actually a horrible, indiscriminate, and brutal slaughter and massacre of children that causes a terrible suffering, destruction, and distress, not only to the community, but to the mothers wailing and screaming, pleading for the lives of their children during the time of King Herod? It is out of envy and jealousy Herod had countless innocent children killed to eliminate Jesus, the newborn king. Two important realities in our hearts that might kill the newborn king. Envy and jealousy are very close to the original sin of disobedience because these are contrary to the plan of God. Envy and jealousy are siblings, quite different because when we say envy, you have something, and I want that for myself. And jealousy, I have something, and I am afraid that you will take this from me. Both are similar because it manifests the feeling of dissatisfaction, unhappiness, discontentment, because the heart wants to possess. Meaning, selfishness is lurking inside our hearts. Today, the church is at the edge of weeping in the midst of celebration. Let us accept that in the midst of parties and celebrations, selfishness is still present in our hearts. But yes, God is always with us. Jesus, our Emmanuel, has been born. But all is not well. The brutality of being human has not yet been fully removed. Meaningless deaths physical or emotional, makes this all too apparent, too real, too painful. This is the day when we put down our red tears into a grieving purple where we commemorate the death of the innocents because of countless manifestations of selfishness in human hearts. Today, we can say that Christmas does not answer all our hopes and fears, rather, it leads us into a new set of hopes and fears that will encourage us to honest celebrations free of lies and denials of pains. We are called to be faithful in the midst of violence, ready to share the grief of life bearers. They know the unexplainable loss, but was not able to understand or know its cause. Today, we enter into bitter places of sorrows and pains, wherein faithfulness faces the brutality and rejects violence, allowing each one of us to enter into the mercy of God made flesh. The Feast of the Holy Innocents reminds us to pray in the midst of Christmas celebrations. Lord, your birth into our world was the greatest sign that you are our Savior and that you can turn all things into good. Jesus, we entrust our life to you and know that you will right every wrong. Come, Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Mm -hmm.